Muskies exist all throughout the Midwest. Um, being in custom, maker of the talons, they were approached by a guide in northern Indiana to build a small but tough shad lure, and they answered that with the ripping shad and the ripping minnow. These baits, they really excel trolling um, just because of how the action under the water. They're really, really good casting, especially the smaller ones. The Magnum Shad here can be cast, but I prefer personally to troll it. So let's talk about each bait specifically. First in our lineup, we got the Rippin' Minnow. It's a four and a half inch bait. It's more of a stick bait uh, than a shad bait. The shads you got more of a gut on them. Uh, it's more of a profile of a shad. This is kind of uh, more like a minnow, but it's excellent. Uh, it's excellent bait in the lineup. <laughs> awesome triggering aspects of it. When downsizing is key, this is one of the baits you want to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's got a .057 stainless steel through wire, Lexan lip, and suspending models are available in this. So. Where that helps you is if you know muskies are holding, say, six, eight foot down. Typically running something like this over top of them to dive and rise like a traditional crankbait that floats will trigger them. But if you want something to hang in their level, you want a suspending model. So what you would do is you'd work it down to the depth that you want, give it your paws, your slack line, and it'll just kind of hang there. And then from there you can just give it little twitches, just something different to trigger the fish. So that's the rip and minnow. Here we have the Rippin' Shad. This one's four inches, through wire, stainless steel. It's again, it's the .057 Lex and Lip. Also suspending models available with this one. And as you can see, like I was saying, how this one was more of a minnow bait um, than the Shad. You can see the difference in the profile where this has just got the bigger belly on it versus just the more slender, uh, flat-sided bait. So here we have the Rippin' Shad. Here we have the Fat Shad. This one's five inches. Again, each one, it's just, you, when you have finicky fish like we do, you got to let them key in, you know, find out what they want, and sometimes just an inch makes the difference. So the fat shed's five inches, the .057 stainless steel through wire again, Lex and Lip, tremendous paint jobs. This one very close to a shad, especially gizzard shad's got the black dot, unique action. Uh, all of these come with mustad hooks. I love mustad, great hooks. Um, when you tune these something a lot of people don't realize with through wire a little goes a long way so if the baits running this way and you want it to come back this way you'd bend the connecting point slightly this way so you want to bend it the way you want the bait to run and like I said a little goes a long way so you just grab it and just barely tweak it uh, sometimes just barely tapping on it with a little hammer is just enough to get it going so that's the fat shad and last in the lineup is the largest of the models in the Shad series. This is the seven and a half inch Magnum Shad. This one, because of its size, they opted to upgrade. This has got a .078 stainless steel through wire. Again, your Lex and Lip, must add hooks. The front hook on this one, because of how big it is and the wobble, is teed. And all that does is help prolong the life of your bait from hook rash. So that's the seven and a half inch Magnum Shad. You know, like I said in the beginning, lakes all over the Midwest and the Muskies range have shad in them. And when it comes to matching the hatch, if they're bite on that shad bite, because shad will ball up in massive schools, and they're easy targets, especially in the summertime after they've spawned, this is when these baits excel. Put on a ripping shad, ripping minnow, one of the magnum shads, and just let it do the work for you. You guys can pick these up at BNN Custom. I'll put a link in the description. Keep that lure in the water, and we'll see you guys in the next one.